Hey everyone, it's Thunderbob, and tonight I'm checking out a new game called As Far As The Eye. I'm gonna check out the campaign and play through the whole thing in one sitting if I can. Um, just to start with, this is a roguelike turn-based strategy game, though maybe not in the way you're thinking. Um, there is no combat in this game, there's actually really no adversaries as far as I have been able to tell. It's basically like a survival game where you're trying to extract resources. Um, I'm going to kind of explain this as I go. You see there's this uh, grid tile based map I'm on right now. At the bottom of the screen uh, is basically a bar representing a flood that's coming. So that's the conceit of the game is there's this massive flood that's, uh, that's going to just wipe out your tribe. And then there's this overworld map. And usually there's multiple steps on this map, but right now there's just a single step that I have to complete to make it to the eye, which is uh, basically like the safe zone. Each of these stops along the way are called halts, and you start at a halt, and then you can basically click on the next step and it'll show you what you need to do in order to, to get to the next halt. Now, usually there's multiple pathways that are not in this first campaign level. Uh, but the basic idea is you choose a path and maybe one will be like a bridge that needs to be repaired. So you need an engineer and you need wood and you need certain materials. The other way might be like a glacier that you have to pass and you need, uh, you know, uh, someone who's good at uh, gathering resources and you need, you know, different resources to, to get there. And you have a certain number of turns to get those resources to move to the next halt. Um, yeah, so that's the basics of the game. It, uh, this video is actually when I was still pretty new. Um, this first part I cut out the audio and I'm just kind of explaining things in a little more detail. The rest of it's going to be my live reactions after this first mission. Um, and I'm, you know, at this point I've beaten the campaign. I've played through a couple of, of uh, you know, the actual procedurally generated levels. I haven't beaten one yet other than the campaign, um, but I'm going to give this another try and I think I'm actually going to put out a review video if I can at the same time I post this. There is an embargo until uh, later this week, so I've actually got a couple of days of prep time to put this together. Um, so basically right now I'm exploring the world map. It's this tile-based system. It almost feels like a board game, like it reminds me of something like Carcassonne. You know where you're there's there's tiles randomly placed and you are collecting you know your resources you're telling your your people to do things um or maybe like civilization if there were no opposing civilizations like you're just trying to uh you know get the resources together to survive um so you have like this big pack animal that uh, is like your main base and then you have um you know more bases more buildings you can create some of them which you could carry forward from one halt to the next and you also have um you know characters who actually do your building who do your resource gathering um they're called pupils usually you have multiple of them on this first mission you just have one and uh, the, the conceit of the game, I believe, is that you're actually the wind guiding these people. Um, that's where, like, this balloon motif comes from and uh, a lot of, like, the metaphors in the game. So I'm harvesting wood now. It is a turn-based game, like I mentioned, so you click in the bottom right to, to progress time. It's one thing that I think needs to be tightened up a little bit, is like everything takes multiple turns. Like harvesting this wood takes three turns, basically. And I'm sure there's balance reasons for it, but if it's a single player game, I don't really understand the, the reasoning for some of these things taking multiple turns. Um, but it it's not bad, it just slows things down a little bit. But you can see how many turns have passed at the bottom already. Um, so I harvest wood, I take it back to the base. Uh, some of the later campaign missions I'm a little quicker paced at, like I was still picking up and learning things at this point. Um, overall, I'd say I've really enjoyed this game so far. Uh, it's got a really cool art style. 
Um, the pupils are really interesting. Like, they all have different jobs. But whenever they do those jobs, they actually, like, change uh, outfits and, like, animals that they're representing. It's, it's a really interesting idea. Um, and then the fact that there's, like, no adversaries, there's no combat, there's no violence. It's all about survival. And there's, like, some... You know, they, they touch around the subject of, like, climate change and, and you know, not exploiting the world too much. Like, if you harvest too much from one spot, it'll, it'll basically collapse and you'll have to move on to a new spot. So there's some kind of ecological um, commentary in the game. Not super deep, but it's interesting. Okay. So at this point... Um, I'm trying to get all of the resources in the top left in order to move forward. I'm pretty close at this point, I think. The tutorial could also be a little clearer at times. There's a few things that you have to kind of guess at. And also, I believe the developer's French because there are some times where like a French word or, or like a tooltip will be in French. Not a lot, you know, maybe less than 5% of the total uh, translation. Um, and then whenever you move to the next halt, you can take resources with you. It doesn't really matter in like a, a campaign mission like this because, um, you know, there's not another halt. Like it doesn't carry forward. Only if before you get to the eye, do those resources matter and, and carry forward. Well, the music's not, um, you know, loud and bombastic or anything. It fits the game nicely. You know, it's pleasant. Um, the gameplay, while not what I would call exciting, is fun. Um, it's kind of like a sit back and kind of chill at times game, though, to be honest, I died several times doing the third and fourth campaign mission, mostly because I, I wasn't paying attention close enough at my food gathering, so I would highly recommend focusing on that um, before you, uh, you move forward. Um, always make sure you've got enough food that you're going to survive. Um, so there are times where, like, legitimately it was difficult, but it is kind of just a relaxing at times, fun game. I would highly recommend checking this out. I will have another video that's more of, like, a review, uh, but this is just the campaign. So if you want to see the whole campaign, if you're stuck, uh, check this out. There's four campaign levels, and this was the end of the first one. So... Second one coming right up. Hey, Thunderbob here. I'm gonna check out the second campaign uh, chapter. Okay, two times already the ceremony has linked the shoot and the hunky in the same circle. Destiny has decided so. The cycle is reaching its end and the wind in their balloons. Okay. There's like this whole um, motif around wind. Like I think in the game you're actually supposed to represent the wind. That's why they have the, these balloons and stuff. This is a caravan. The tribe is composed of two pupils. In the map. So like you click on this and it'll show you what you need to move forward. I've kind of grasped this concept already. I don't have the necessary resources. The, you'll need to find them at the current halt. Harvest them and stock them. Let's go explore. I thought I'd... You go... I only have two pupils, and I told them both to do something. What do you... Or maybe I didn't.
Yeah, I gotta click on that thing. Not much to explore here. I can't build anything yet. I thought. Oh. I forgot I gotta set this guy. Right? I thought I ex oh, there's one more. I'm blind. I don't see either of them that are Glacier. Collapse Bridge. Oh, Glacier. Oh, okay, that's making more sense now. I got it. Pepkins are a base resource. Okay, see, they look different because they take on different roles. So they take three turns to harvest. Shut has become a bird, the shape that builders take. Did I need to move forward? Yeah, I'll get it in a second. So then you want to like carry your resources forward. I feel like some of this is maybe there's maybe there's reasons behind it, but it feels um unnecessarily complicated. So you need all that stuff to move to the next grid. So it's basically like you need to come to an area, extract as many of the resources as you can. Jungle 
Fogs than the other. Here's the caravan, which, okay. So I've got to settle. It seems like you want to... Okay, so there are like beasts in the world too. You kind of want to find like a good disturbing spot. This looks like good because there's wood all over the place. So she can't harvest. Oh. I guess she can. I can. Oh, okay. I don't need to make a... Just get some wood. What did I need to go there? Wood, ore, and stone. So I'm gonna have to make a quarry and a something. Just so to explore. I wish there wasn't like the second click. It just doesn't feel natural when I'm just wanting them to move. Keep doing that. Like, I feel like the controls are not quite perfect. And not a trace of ore. You can't repair the railway line without it. Build a market. Okay. I need a rhinophilo. I should have sent them the other way because they were like close to the thing. How many turns does it take her to make that thing love her? I need one of those, but I thought she charmed it. That's weird. I gotta mark it. So I needed ore. I need ten of those, jeez. You should go get some wood. It's gonna need a lot of wood. 
Oh. Okay, so... So he like used up all the resources from the jungle spot. Wonder if I need to like manually tell them to go elsewhere. Just have them move. I feel like the keyboard commands need a little bit of work. Okay. for working them, but we gotta get out of this place. No weekends. No rest. What do I still need? Find more of those and some stone. Uh, where's my quarry? Did I make one yet? Mark it. Maybe I didn't. We're gonna get off this uh, this rock, I tell you. Okay, so it shows you over there what you need. So just a couple more turns, and I should have. I got it. Someone's like Tetris. Woo, victory! It's kind of like a commentary on like climate change, maybe. Like not taking too many resources and the water rising, and it's interesting. Hey, it's Thunder Bob, and I am going to beat this third campaign mission if it kills me. Um, so, these are basically like, uh, kind of, the, the normal game is like procedurally generated. These are the same every time, and they kind of teach you certain mechanics. Like, it started me in the middle, and I got to get these things to move forward, and this level teaches you kind of how um, leveling up your guys works. Yep, I gotta build a pasture. Yeah. I already have a pasture, actually. And it gives you two dudes, one who's kind of a builder and one that's kind of like... more of a gatherer kind of person. They start, you know, already leveled up. He's already leveled up as a gatherer. So I'm gonna start with him going there and I'm gonna start with him kind of just exploring yeah 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 yep I got it pretty much never stop um, harvesting 
is my is my recommendation. Yeah, it's just kind of pointing out the harvesting. And like, here's what they each want to do. I've done this almost to the end, and I died of starvation both times because I'm an idiot and just like, like, lost attention of what I was doing. There's not really anything that says like, hey, if you don't have food, you're going to die, basically. It's really annoying. I am enjoying this game, but there's lots of little things that I'm just kind of like, frustrated about, I feel like, right now. Like, why does it take three turns to do everything? I feel like it's just artificially dragging out, like, how many times you gotta click. Lots of little choices that, like, maybe there's a design reason for them, but they don't make a huge amount of sense in my head. Lots of resources. So you can only level up, just to point this out, you can only get these last two points, like, beyond here, by, like, building a, a stand. Like, these you can get from the main building, I think it's the same way with each of these trees, and then these you have to build, like, the specialization building. Let's go get some wood. You're right there. And I'm gonna go with this one. Because I seem to be running out of food a lot. That guy needs to go get some more. The controls are just a little imprecise. Like, I keep left clicking, not on the button to do the thing I want, but like to, to move instead. It's really frustrating. I feel like it's very close to being a great game. But there's like small interface issues, and like it's just a little too complex. And the tutorial just doesn't explain some things quite adequately. Alright. I want to take like a lot of food with me, because that seems to be what keeps getting me killed. I'm just going to use like the rest of my turns to get as much food as I... Oh, okay, they are doing that. I thought they were doing something else for a minute. How many times I get 12? 8. 
Okay. So now, I, basically, that flood, if you watch this, this flood is coming to you. And it's like, that's how much time you have on each of these, what are called halts. So if I click here, I'm going to move forward some of my resources. It's like a Tetris mini game in between levels. I'm taking a lot of food with me. Because I keep getting killed from not having enough. A little bit of wood. Some of that. Some of that. Yes, let's get the hell out of here. And then well, this shows you what you need to do to get to the eye, which is kind of the end of the level. First thing is probably to put down my buildings again. And you just keep getting me food for the moment. And he became an engineer now. So I get to pick something with him. Plus 10 experience per harvest cycle for the mobile building construction. Or more compact, but I'm not gonna. <clears throat> I'm probably not gonna move again, so like. That doesn't really help me here. I'm just gonna go exploring with this dude. I got pretty far into this, so I kind of know what's coming. There's these ruins you can explore. And like, it seems like you kind of find random things there. I got a sawmill. It's pretty cool. Just keep moving on up to the east side. Another ruin. Go explore. <gasps> Expected encounter. A pupil joins your tribe. Nice. Very nice. Uh, new guy. Wait, no. This is the new guy. You... Give me some wood. You keep exploring. The tribe is now composed of three pupils, and such as one extra mouth. If silent harvesting is insufficient, the harvester can be improved. The first harvest hut improvement reduces harvest cycle to two turns. See, I couldn't figure out quite how this... How this works, because I can see... No buttons here, like... Maybe I need my builder? Oh yeah, I forget to build the pasture. I should probably build that next to like the sheep over here. I just don't see how to upgrade this thing. As long as I keep harvesting, maybe I'll be good. That's my hope. All mobile buildings are damaged. So, like, my mobile buildings got damaged? That's some bullcrap.
All right, you harvest that. We're just getting out of here. I need a mill or a, yeah, mill, I think. Okay. Yeah, let's consume less food, I guess. That's useful. I'm not sure, like, how long. Because it is still going down. Maybe I need to have, like... Okay, I got the wood. Go help him. I'm not dying from starvation again. Okay, he's got the wool, so all I need to do is build... A mine? Oh, but I'm gonna have to get some more wood again. But that's okay. We got this. Some of these outfits are pretty cool that they put on when they do a specific task. Like, it doesn't make a lot of sense, I guess, in the story, but it's a cool concept. You know what? I just need wood, so you go get wood. Who's done? Doesn't got anything to do. I thought you were getting that. It's not. Alright. You go help with the pepkins. I need five more wood and I think I can win. These pepkins are further and further away. Can I leave this godforsaken place? I don't even know I'm doing this because I don't think it carries forward. I'm not sure if there's any way to like turn these things. Some of them are not stored very efficiently. I did it! Thank, thank you. That one is getting a little frustrating. Hey, Thunder Bob here, and I'm gonna try to beat the last chapter of this game tonight. Uh, I got really close, but I feel like I keep running out of food. It's like the only thing that kills you. So you got to really just watch that and then watch this timer at the bottom, but it's kind of frustrating at times. So it starts you two steps from the eye, basically. I need 300 rations, wool, and ore to move forward. So last time I died because I did not focus enough on the food, like I just kept getting pepkins, and um, got to build a farm really to move forward. Just look. Yeah, so he's the best builder. And then they give you a fourth guy, and it's like he's eating your resources, but you can't use them until you get the farm. It's kind of annoying. Get me food! And then I kept running out of this stuff. So I was sending him to, to harvest that, but I couldn't use the bakery yet, and it's like... <sighs> this is not very efficient, because it takes two people, basically, 
to do cereal into rations because she can make 20 cereal becomes 36 rations. That's better than, like, I forget how many she gets, but it's not that many. But it's just very tight to have enough food, especially when you get that fourth person. Needed a lot of wood the last time. But I'm also gonna need wool. And then I need one of these guys. I'm gonna have to make a camp. Yeah, as soon as I trade with this guy. I don't know if I sh maybe if I would have gone the other way, I wouldn't have encountered it. I don't want to assign another guy to go over there, but it seems like it, it makes me. Can I just not do it? Or not do it yet? Because I really wanted to... build one of these, which is going to require... I don't understand why it won't let me. Alright, let's go talk to the bullshit person. And it makes me take by lie or believe. And she can't do nothing until... Yeah, so you got three spots. She's a fourth person. Just keep getting food, people. There's a few translation issues, I think. So I got the that thing now. But I still need to get 50 wool, which... I can build. Nice. to see you by a good cook a baker yeah. 
than you. Oh, that's interesting. So 12 and 12 and it feeds 63 versus 20 and 54. Let me just do that. Who's got nothing to do? Go up there, because I think that's where the quarry is, yeah. feeling a lot better than I did last turn, or last time I tried this. I like it goes back to whoever um, isn't doing anything. Where is this person? Um. Oh, that thing ran out of resources. I do really like that they change costumes, like, it's just a cool effect. I think I might have this one, I just need a little bit more of the minerals. I've got a lot of food to take with me. Oh, she's waiting on... wood. Okay. I'll go get some wood. If you're waiting, just go get some popkins or whatever, pepkins. build up to like 500 if I can. I don't have a lot of days left. And I'm not gonna... Okay, I got plenty of everything. I didn't want to get to the last day and like something screws me. I think I'm gonna have enough food though. 800. thousand food. I feel like that food I run out of and is like important. Tetris over here. God dang it. <laughs> 
Hmm. I don't need as much cereal if I've got that much food I'm bringing. I probably should have brought more wood though. I feel like food is the thing that keeps screwing me over though. getting to the last level almost with everything I need to move forward, maybe. I felt like I cheated a little bit on that level. Help the trade set up the base, the best base possible and stuff, blah blah blah. I don't even like, need to explore, really. I need to get some of that, really. Let's get a camp down first. And that bakery. And then you start going to get wood. And you get some pumpkins. Oh, who's not doing nothing? Gatherer, nothing, gatherer. Okay, did I not tell them? Oh. So I should make the camp first. Because now I can use that guy. fast. So I need one of those up there. And then I need Okay. 
So that's the gatherer. So you go get me cereal. Here's my cook. Yeah, you? Oh, you're not done yet. You? Make me cake. Find spices and cook even more. Do I want to do that or do I just want to beat it? It is like two o'clock in the morning here. I feel like I got addicted to this and just played through like the whole campaign in one sitting. Like there are some annoyances, but I really actually quite enjoyed this. Um, let's just go explore. Let's see if we can find these spices. What is that? Thing has spices. I feel like I kind of cheated a little bit because I literally brought like everything I needed to to move forward. There's the spices. Well, I think I beat this campaign. This this last mission was actually, I'd say, easier than the third one. I had some issues. The biggest thing I would recommend on the third and the fourth mission is dedicate your guys to getting a lot of food, even at the detriment of taking longer. Like, you've got, you know, a ton of turns. Um, take as much food as you can from one level to the next. Um, yeah, I think... Let's see. I don't know if I even need to, but I want to say this is over, but let's just go through the motions here. I'm going to have to play through like an actual campaign level, or uh, not campaign, one of the kind of randomly generated levels. It does seem like there are situations where you simply just could not win, though. Um, I did it. pretty cool. It feels kind of like a tutorial more than like a big story mode. It kind of just teaches you a ton of the mechanics and I feel like I'm ready to actually play the um, the main game now. So uh, yeah, uh, I am think I'm going to do two videos, probably one that's going to be just all of the campaign and then one that's going to be like a couple of the, um, you know, the normal levels. Um, maybe a review in there. So, if you enjoyed this, uh, you know, think about giving me a subscription, check out some of my other videos. I got a lot of new game previews, early access, um, pre release, new releases on this playlist. But uh, thank you very much for watching and have a great night, everyone.